discrete and continuous random variables. We want to consider a univariate uh, random variable. And uh, we are going to look at both continuous and discrete cases. We let x to have a probability density function given by f of x is equals to e raised to power negative x. x is greater than uh, or equals to 0. And then when it's 0, when x is less than 0. We want to show that. So we show that f of x is a PDF and basically it means we want to integrate from 0 to infinity of v minus x dx and uh, from our integral calculus that is what we get e less to power 0 minus e less to power negative infinity which is 1 minus 1 over e less to power infinity and is equals to 1. So we know that uh, for f of x to be a PDF from uh, the laws that we have given, we have to get this to from negative infinity to infinity of f of x dx should be equal to 1. So if this condition is satisfied, then it shows that f of x is a PDF. Uh, x lies between, for example, 1 and 2. So basically, we are going to integrate from 1 to 2 e less to power negative x dx and therefore that is negative e less to power negative x 1 and 2 and that's the interval of uh, integration that's a definite integral and if we substitute that it will be negative e negative 2 minus minus e negative 1 so it is e to power negative 1 minus e to power negative 2 let x have a probability mass function and uh, we use the probability ma mass function when our f of x is a discrete case or it is discrete so a quarter when x is 0 another quarter when x is 1 and then it could be a half when x is 2 and then 0 other elsewhere. We use the word zero elsewhere or zero otherwise. So what it, does it mean? It means that if the value of x, so in this case our values of x are 0, 1, 2 and this is a very good case of uh, discrete. They are discrete because they are countable and so if they are countable we have a probability mass function for f of x. We want to show that f of x is a PMF, so basically we are going to sum uh, k from 0 to 2, probability of x is equals to xk, so is equals to probability x is equals to x0, plus probability of x is x1, plus probability of x is equals to x2. So in other terms, this is like our x naught. This is our our x naught, x one, and x two, and those are the three values we have. So we just sum their probabilities, and that will give show to us. So it's a quarter plus a quarter plus a half, which is one. Similar to what we found in the case of. Uh, of a PDF. Example is to find probability x is equals to 1 and that one will be a quarter. But if we are told to find probability x is equals to 3, this will be a 0 and the reason behind is that we are told that uh, it is f of x is equal 0 elsewhere. Where is elsewhere? Elsewhere is when the values of x uh, maybe something like 3, 4, 5 and so on or they are negative infinity all the way up to negative 1. So if the values of x lie from negative infinity to negative 1 
or they are 3 from 3 all the way to infinity, then the f of x will always be equals to 0. And that's what uh, the, that PMF is uh, telling us about our value. Know that our random variable x as a pdf given by f of x is equals to kx. Remember k is a constant. So uh, that constant we can be able to get it. And how do we get the constant? We use the principles that we know. And what principles do we know? We know that from 0 to 1 kx dx should be equals to 1. So we want to show this to be true and that means then technically if I integrate that I'll get k x squared over 2 0 to 1 is equals to 1. So if I replace I'll get k times a half minus 0 is equals to 1 and that implies that k is equals to 2. So that's the value of k, k is equals to 2 in that case probability density function which is given by 2x and x lies between 0 and 1 and it's 0 elsewhere. So if you have been asked to get a constant you would go about that. There are other things you could do. We could get the probability that uh, x is greater than or equals to a half. Remember you have been given the interval between 0 and and 1. And this is the interval that we know the value of f of x. Anything beyond that on this end, on this end, your f of x will equals be 0. So if I say x is greater than a half, you have to be careful. Your half is somewhere here. So the only place that is valid is this. So it will be the integral from a half to 1. 2x dx which is uh, 2 times x squared over 2 a half and 1 which is x squared a half and 1. So that's what we'll get and then now we substitute the values and the values will be equals to 1 squared minus a half squared which is 1 minus a quarter which is 3 over 4. We want to note that uh, the value or the probability of x will always lie between 0 and 1. The probability of x will always lie between 0 and 1. A random variable x has a probability mass function and uh, will give f of x is equals to k over 2, 2x plus 1, and x lies between, or oh, x is 1, 2, 3. So the first thing is to find the constant k. So it will be summation of x from 1, 2, 3. I'll put k over 2 outside, 2x plus 1. And the sum of that should be equals to 1. I put when x is 1, it will be 2 plus 1. When x is 2, it is 4 plus 1. And when x is 3, it is 6 plus 1. And that will be equals to 1. So you multiply with x. This is 3 plus 5 plus 7. And uh, all this gives me 15. So 15 over 2k is equals to 1 and that implies that k is equals to 2 over 15. So for I can write down my PMF as 2 over 15 times a half 2x plus 1 which is 1 over 15 2x plus 1 and x is 1 2 3. And I can comfortably say 0 otherwise. So that reality x is equals to 1. And basically what it means it is 1 over 15. Then 2 times 1 plus 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So it is 3 over 15 which is 1 over 5. 
प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब